In this lesson, we are going to have a look at how we use our calculator to work out the value of certain trigonometric functions and their reciprocal functions. Before we do that, let's just remind ourselves of the six trig functions that we have learned so far. So if we consider right angle triangle ABC, where angle theta lies at the vertex B, we can define the names of the three sides of the triangle from angle theta. So the first side we always identify is the side opposite the right angle, which is the hypotenuse. Then from theta, the side that lies opposite theta is the opposite side. And the third side of the triangle, you can see it actually lies next to theta. And another word for next to is adjacent. So we have three sides of a triangle, the opposite, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent. And we, have, we take ratios, or we take sides and divide them by each other and give them specific names. So the ratio of the sine of angle theta is the ratio of the length of the side that is opposite theta divided by the hypotenuse. The ratio that we know as cosine, or abbreviated to cos theta, is the ratio of the length of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And the ratio we call tangent, or tan theta, is the opposite side divided by the adjacent. And you can remember this as so toa Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. We can then also introduce three other trig ratios that are the reciprocals of the three standard ratios. And all a reciprocal is, is the fraction tipped the other way. So cosec is the reciprocal ratio for sine, or its full name is cosecant, and its ratio is the reciprocal of sine, so it's hypotenuse over opposite. Secant, or sec theta, is the reciprocal of cos, so it's hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tan theta, which is adjacent over opposite. So bearing that in mind, let's take a look at some examples. I'd like you to pause the video and to try these on your own. Use your calculator to determine the value of the following correct to two decimal places. Okay, so number one, very straightforward. We have a sign button on our calculator, so we punch in sign, and then 23 degrees, and the value that our calculator gives us rounded off to two decimal places is 0, 0,39. Number two, the cosec or the cosecant of 51 degrees. If you look carefully at your calculator, you will see that you do not have a cosec button. So you have to work with the reciprocal, and we know that cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So in other words, it will be 1 over the sine of 51 degrees. So on your calculator, you type in 1 divided by or fraction 1 over sine of 51, and that gives you 1,29 rounded to two decimal places. Number, oh, this should be number three. Number three, tan of 33 degrees minus the secant of 41 degrees. Tan of 33 is easy. You can work that out on your calculator straight away because you have a tan button. But secant of 41, you don't have a button. So you have to work with the reciprocal. And the reciprocal ratio is cos. So the secant of 41 will be 1 over the, cosec, um, the, the cosine of 41. And if you punch that into your calculator, you get negative 0,68. And then finally, number four, and you need to be a little bit careful with number four. Again, we do not have a cot button on our calculator, so we have to work with the reciprocal. The reciprocal function is tan, so cot of 48 degrees will be equal to 1 over the tan of 48 degrees. And then this big fraction line here means divide, so we've got to divide that by the cos of 12 degrees. So if we punch that into our calculators, you should get 0, 0,92.